What's up, Fox? Today we will swap the well-known Grover Rotomatics tuning machines with a brand new Goto SXL 5100V, and we will check if weight and construction matters when we use words like harmonics and sustain. I received these parts directly from the Goto factory thanks to Josh from Japan Parts. From the custom order to home took almost three weeks, and the great support was given from Josh through this period. How you can see, these tuners are wonderful chrome, well machined, rock solid, and with the ratio of 115. They say from the description in the website that can be installed as a direct replacement into the same old drill for rotomatic style tuners and give it a chance to experience a sound that you never heard before. So I thought, why not to try? For the test, we will mount the tuners in a beautiful Heritage H1500 and we will use only the red coins from a set of Seymour Duncan p rays for less compression and maximum clarity. But before moving to the samples and do some analysis, I will show you how you can easily swap the tuners by yourself. Of course, if you don't feel right, ask your beloved Luther to do it. White Fox. You can see 131 grams less. Maybe this number doesn't say anything to you because it's close to a 3 person over 4200 grams guitar. But let's do some easy physics for dummies here and consider two things. First, when you sit down or you stand up, the guitar body is resting over your leg or kept by the strap while the neck is moving. And second, the neck weight usually is around 500 grams. So basically, the resulting feeling due to the reduction in weight that we have with the Goto tuners is closer to the magic number 20, 20%. Here are some graphics. Top left in green, you can see the EQ from Grover. Top right in pink, the Goto. Bottom left, we have the matching EQ that we have to apply over the Grover if we want to achieve the same sound that we have from the Goto. You can see, there's a reduction or a boost in some parts of the spectrum that we have to apply. And remember that 3-4 decibels is almost a double in terms of volume perceived. On the bottom right, we have the Grover Green over the pink Goto EQ. Next example, it's all about the sustain. I slowed down the audio content so you can clearly see what's going on. 
and folks thanks for watching